helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Katie Wilson. Today we've got Dr. Christopher Day joining us from Cabell Huntington Hospital. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Ron. And are you a newbie for Moms Every Day? Uh, yeah. I'm a newbie for television. Okay. Uh, well, this is Moms very Every exciting Day. then. Yep. Okay, so you are a plastic surgeon here in uh, Huntington. So I'm just curious, what procedure do you usually do most? Um, so I have specialized training in uh, both aesthetic and reconstructive procedures of the head okay. and neck. Okay. So kind of anything above the clavicles we will do. Um, I would say the cases that we do the most are usually removal of uh, tumors of the skin and reconstruction of that, uh, face fractures. We do a full range of aesthetic procedures. And we even, what I'm most passionate about really is um, getting to do reconstructive things on kids. So yeah. cleft lip, palate. Okay, so this is definitely not just a cosmetic type of thing. Yeah, that's what most people think of, I know. Yeah. Um, if you Google image plastic surgery, you get not yes. all, what we always do, but that is definitely within our field. Right. Um, we do a full range of procedures, really from head to toe in plastic surgery. Um, face uh, lifts and nose procedures and blepharoplasty, otoplasty. I had specialized training in um, both the nose and the ear, which is a little unique about me yeah. in this area. And then we'll do breast surgery. I saw mm -hmm. multiple consults for that today, as well as abdominal plasty and um, lower extremity reconstruction after trauma. Plastic surgery is a very broad field. So yeah. we do uh, things on, a, if it's form and function, then we can probably get involved. Okay, and we were actually just talking about uh, reconstructive surgery for breasts on the show earlier today for Studio 3 because oh, it's, right. it's Breast October. Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. Yep, I, I just posted some stuff to you know be supportive of survivors who should all yeah. who should all be celebrated this month in October. Um, it's a wonderful thing that we've made advances in breast cancer, but unfortunately, that is still a very prevalent disease. So we mm -hmm. do the reconstruction. We do, I would say, the predominant amount of the reconstruction in our area. And, uh, you know, that's always a very rewarding thing because, yeah. yeah. um, you know, those folks get to see us after every, all the oncologists have done the hard work and mm -hmm. they, they're now getting back to themselves. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's fun. So I understand that you're not just a physician, you are a teacher at Marshall. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I have an assistant professor role in both the surgery department and the pediatrics department, which I, I enjoy. I um, participate in research projects and have really since I was a sophomore in college and also work with residents, medical students. Uh, we have various little mentorship programs. I actually just came up with one of my own, which I'm kind of proud of. Um, in, it should be. In, <laughs> in partnership with my my, uh, my partner, Peter Ray, who does very similar things to what I do, has inspired a lot of this. But the Plastic Surgery Enrichment Group um, is sort of a group of surgery uh, residents that are interested in plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. So we get a chance to identify them and sort of, uh, you know, give them extra opportunities to learn more. Sure. So uh, these, whether it's college students or residents, um, have you ever seen them, you know, go through the entire process and become... Uh, not only doctors but plastic surgeons? Uh, yeah, so not to full fruition yet because I'm still early, but uh, okay. my most rewarding experience actually was in 2007. I went to something called the National Science uh, Forum for uh, medical students. It's the largest medical student conference um, in basic science, and I won the top award. Wow. And then, um, as a resident, I mentored a student on a project that I thought had a lot of promise. I pushed her really hard, and mm -hmm. she worked really hard and did very well. And she presented and won the same top award. So that was like six or seven years later, and it nice. kind of came full circle. Yeah. Um, it was it was cool. She got featured in like the alumni magazine of the university that wow. year. So you're clearly a great teacher as well as a physician. Try. So we have a graphic here. If someone wants to get in contact with you, is calling you the best way, or what's the best way? Yeah, you can call and make an appointment. That's our office number. You can always stop in. We're on um, Route uh, US 60, and then also. So you can find me on Facebook just by searching my name. I have a page where you can click book now as a one-click oh, option. Wow. So uh, we try to make it easy. Um, yeah. we're, we're, our doors are very open. Like I say, we do kind of head-to-toe procedures for women, kids, and, and various uh, people who need form and function okay. interventions. Well, doctor, thank you so much. Have a great day.